Wow. Remember in the, the win the orc toss and can receive. They want the ball first. Hi, this is Grim Blitzro, and welcome to the mute. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzro and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And here comes the extra point attempt. Oh, and they fake it! Didn't see that coming. He caught it. That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. a pick and now the quarterback is cursing the defense his receiver Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life and it's first and ten. Oh man i love this dirty trick the quarterback unleashes a rocket and then it's a first down from a great catch was it a catch though let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out First and two. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Picks up about six on the play. Third and four. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And the defense gives up five yards there. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Three-yard pickup. And that'll bring up third and one. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And that'll bring up third and one. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. 
His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 30, the 20, the 10. And that was a game-breaking punt return for a touchdown. Man, that play just changed the entire momentum of this game. What a run. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but holy shit, a fake kick. And perfect pass for two points. That's a piece of art right there, Bricks. Yes, man. The QB turned the defense into an abject mess. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i and he takes a time out here they have two left i wonder if he has a plan well maybe he's just gonna take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play and the quarterback drills one in for the first down and it's first a timeout is called by the quarterback they have one left First and ten. Watch out, the ball. Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? I have. And trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's max stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Third down and long. And he finds open space, is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Can't unsee that. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Oh, my God! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! Now, that's just the Berserker Rage kicking in. This guy, he never had a... Well, that's the end of his day. Looks like he had a bad case of the worms. Oh, the worm swallows him whole and goes down like the last shot of whiskey in an Irish wake. You know, my wife went to Scotland. She came home with a Scottish tapeworm. Not a big eater, though, so that's good. More of a drinker, really. Passed off by 18-year-old McCallum the other morning at the breakfast table. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Yeah. First down and forever. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drunk, eat school, don't do vegetables. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison. And that's the end of the second quarter. Lock in. Welcome back. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Oh, that was a big...
big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm on a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners for the night, Grim. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And that'll be second and eight to go. <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. up a new set of downs. First and two. And he runs it in for the touchdown. They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And the ref runs out of bounds and manages to survive somehow. Yeah, at least for another 40 seconds. First down in a mile. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. There's a lot of pressure on you when you're ref in the NFL. You go through three interviews and then measure your weapon down to see if you're a perfect fit. Yeah, for a casket. First down in a mile. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And that'll bring up third and one. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. The offense is lining up to go for it on fourth down. And the defense is looking for a stop or a death. Either will work, but they prefer... And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular with the other kids. The ones... If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the entire defense. Ah, my glass burst down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. First and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. 
And the two-minute warning, Sams. They'll have to regroup during this timeout. And it's first and ten. Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Wow, that's me in the hotel bar every night. And they take their first timeout. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Too little. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. The offense has an uphill battle, and it all starts with making this first down. Uh, you have to admire that fighting. The nastiest dirty trick in the NFL. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And now they can taste set home at about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My parole officer calls. I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. The defense calls their last timeout. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? Eh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. And they line up for the extra point. Look out! They try to catch the defense napping, and, and he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. You know, back in the day when you scored a touchdown, you acted like a man, not some chorus girl. Yeah. That's right! Yeah. You looked up into the stands and murdered some big mouths who had been taunting you. Got that right. Oh, an awful kick. Good thing his entire family came to the game to see him play today. Must be real proud. No, 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 that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Holy mother of mutant mayhem! He scored! Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. And the court defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> yeah. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. What? Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he couldn't. The mile. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. Today's final game stance are brought to you by the Micro...